Okay, I'm Matthew Ewan. I'm John Ewan. Um, and we are the writers and artists on Declan and Chang. <laughs> We've also appeared in uh, movies and TV. I guess the thing we're most known for is Observe from Report with Seth Rogen and uh, Michael Pena. And that was actually filmed right here in Albuquerque. Which is how we came to know and love this town. And I mean that not sarcastically, we actually do love this town. The book uh, started out as a role-playing game campaign that we had with our friends uh, in Austin, I want to say 12 years ago. And ever since then, uh, the campaign is still ongoing, actually, and we like to write, we like to draw, and they kept saying, this would make a great comic book, it would be so much fun, and we finally decided to get off of our asses and say, yeah, let's, let's do it, because with print on demand, you know, digital printing, all of that, there's really not that sort of financial impediment to getting your book done. Uh, distribution is another thing entirely, but we're not looking to sell 20, 30,000 copies. We'll leave that to the x -Men. <laughs> The story is um, Declan and Chang are the two main characters. Um, they are cyborg mercenaries. We sort of hint that they were government special forces or something like that in the past, but they've been reduced to sort of doing work for hire. They get a call from a police uh, captain who says, I've got a dirty precinct and they've been bringing all sorts of high-tech military gear onto my planet. I want you to shut them down, and for that I will pay you tons and tons of money. And so they're like, sure, we'll do it. Um, it turns into a double cross, and by issue number two, they're dealing with this genetically enhanced super soldier, and she just whips their asses with goods. So it's, uh, it was inspired, I mean, really just by 80s action movies. You know, you always had these tough as nails guys who meet the bad guy that they don't initially or can't initially defeat and you know then the rest of the story goes on you know wads and wads of violence you know with the, the one liners and the humor and stuff like that it, the, the violence and the humor are very much intentional just because when you watch movies like Commando or Predator if you take it too seriously it's, it's kind of creepy <laughs> um you just go so over the top with the, you know, the violence and so like, it, it almost turns into, it's, it's like a Bugs Bunny cartoon. If you actually think about them, they're incredibly violent, but you laugh at it. Why? Because it's, you know, it's a duck hitting a rabbit with you know, a hammer. And well, this one is a cyborg shooting, you know, a giant robot with, you know, a rocket, you know, something like that. But, you know, it, it's definitely meant to be uh, sort of like, you know, dark comedy. I, I would say that the best way to do it is um, find a comic book store that is supportive. Astro Zombies is a great example. Um, because, like I said, with print on demand, um, you can print up 20 copies. You know, And if you're lucky, the, the store will sell out all of those 20. Those 20 will tell their friends. And it'll be just like a YouTube video. You know, it becomes sort of this viral hit. Um, but the, the key is, is just find the community that's supportive. Um, and whether it's a store, a website, um, conventions are great too. Um, you, you just have to be willing to put in the, uh, the effort to get it out there. Um, th there should be no reason why you shouldn't just sit down, write and draw. I mean, if you don't have money, have time and just make it the best that you can. Come on, man, you're gonna make me rewrite the entire script because you didn't like one panel. Um, and, and even then, it, it's yeah, But even then, there's sometimes when it's like, hey, you know, the script calls for, you know, nine panels. It's like, hey, I'm not fitting nine on the damn page. This is going to look weird. <laughs> and, they're all, three just, and they're all dialogue heavy and, yeah. you know, massive amounts of shit happens on it's them. Like, it's like, now I'll make my it two pages and it'll be, you know, one four, one five. I can do that. <laughs> we collaborate on a lot of stuff. Um, but, but it's helpful because left my own devices, I just sit around and play video games. I don't do anything. Um, and I, and, I mean, like, Matt wrote the script for this. Um, he wrote the first two issues. And it's like, you know, come on, you know, everyone's saying we should do it, you know, it'll be fun. I was like, mm -hmm, you know, you know. And I was like, okay, fine, here we go, I'll read it. Oh, hey, yeah, this is, this is kind of cool. So. <laughs> um, so, so Matt deserves a lot of credit for, you know, getting me off my ass and actually right. getting the script I wrote the script in, in, I wrote the script in two weeks, and we're... <laughs> 
six months out and he's still drawing pages. I, I, so I <laughs> it's it's easy for me to be you know the go get him guy. <laughs> so my work is done. <laughs> Astro Zombies is great. Um, first off, it's the type of comic book store that you always wish you had in your neighborhood because it's clean, well lit, the staff is friendly. It's not like this molester cave where, you know, there's these weird stains on the floor and books that are like nine years old. And like the have the special stock in the back, it's like, come on back here, I'll show you the variant covers. It's like, no. <laughs> you know, like, you have all these people who say, oh yeah, Catch on the Rye changed my life. Yeah, well, that, that's bullshit. Um, Hectic Planet. <laughs> um, now they call it Pirate Corps. But issues one through six from Slave Labor. No, no, Pirate Corps oh, now. It's well, now it's Pirate. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's the six issues um, were our favorite storyline. And, you know, like reading that in college, like, that blew our minds. Because <laughs> it's like, hey, comics can be more than just these oddly shaped, you know, people in uniforms beating each other silly. You know, again and again and again. It's and like, the, yeah, there, there's more to it than, than this. And the dialogue is great. The art is fantastic. It's just um, almost yeah. everything that every comic book should be. Um, but, we, we do like women in spandex, so. But uh, other, uh, Steve Purcell, uh, Sam and Max is fantastic. Uh, uh, Pat Mills, Marshall Law. Um, Dan Amnett and Annie Lanning, uh, they're fantastic, they're great, great writers. Um, I'm going to say also, Dan Slott's run on She-Hulk was, it was almost like, hey, this is the golden age of, you know, what comics can be like. You know, they're, they're fun, they're entertaining, but... They don't insult your intelligence either. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, who else? I mean, who... Jim Woodring, can't leave him out. Uh, Jim Woodring is awesome. And... That's really about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.